All right, it's October 7th, 2021. Um, there's some world, like for the people who are have access to background checks and um, some areas have access to something called an abstract art or abstract artwork piece. It's kind of a, I don't know, diagnostical or legendary piece about someone's uh, inner personality and what they may or may not do within a lifetime and so on and so forth. Some people have access to this stuff. I don't even have access to an abstract company or access to... So, like, my whole thing is there's a song called Sam Hunt. I'm Goddess Nyx, NYX in all of this, since I'm living in NYC and I have a gamma G-A-M-M-A and a gamut, G-A-M-M-E-T, that's being run around me. Um, lowercase gamma looks like a Y in alphabet or alpha beta. And an uppercase gamma looks something like a lowercase R in um, Greek, in a certain classification of Greek, might I add. Not all Greek. Since I'm uh, contra, I'm Albania, contra Grecia, G-R-E-C-I-A. Um, I don't know in English, in North America, if that means I'm uh, considered contraband or if I'm considered counterintelligence um, to whatever's going on. I'm not quite sure. Again, I don't have access to the intellectual community. I've been in a river of my own, hiding in a burrow, waiting as a catfish, catwoman in Gotham, playing out around me, waiting for the crow to sweep on in and be my Prince Charming in like a, this world looks really goth to me, but whatever, in not goth. Um, and so that's like my artistic view on it. But here's the thing. I just found this piece of tell a vision where the word it's, it's something called a Dr. Oz. That's this man. He's got some network position, which I don't even know what that means or studio work. Again, don't know what that means. Then there's this, I don't know what this is or what she calls herself there's, he's got a show called The Dr. Oz Show. I don't watch. I just caught this. And what caught my Coptic recognition was some, it says Oz True Crime. And then it says NXIVM Jane Doe Revealed Sex Cult Survivor Speaks Out Against Former Master Allison Mack. Wow, that sounds like some underground stuff that I'm not a part of and I don't have access to. Things move in this world around me of, like, Gotham and Catwoman in Batman still has access to a whole lot of stuff, even though Catwoman doesn't because Batman's trying to protect Catwoman. If that's his only objective and only mission, no matter what leather shoe he wears, just one of them, so his other foot's bare, and it slows him down. But this... I will play on the TV screen is the first time I've ever even heard they make the sound Nexium Jane Doe. I don't know if that's her. This chick wrote a book, but again... This seems to be what's succeeding on Tell a Vision while I have been raped and had four children to two men or one man that were kind of sort of in not really kind of way that I have two marriage certificates of two North Americans. They look like the color of a turkey breast, but they're not crested, and they're not the correct anything for marriage material for my arrival. Let's just say that in a the great uh, grape that was never supposed to have G removed, 
and cause some phosphorus, like, neon sky dome that turns into, like, some radiological MRI that then you get poisoned within because you took G out of the equation and gave me a rape. Several times in the book that you and when I say you, it could have been any of the so four leathers in the one artist company that stained my entire existence. <laughs> yes. So the funny thing is what I was looking for in Nexium and enlightenment and healing these traumas, I gained from it but not in the way that you think. It's because I went through it and fortified myself and was under the fire. She went through something called a nexium, and so she healed herself by going through it, not expecting something, something, something. I have no idea what any of this means in the last 40 years. Wasted, just waiting, and being harmed in the process. Fire, that I was able to come out on the other side the way that I have. And the thing is, this might sound pretty, like, not crazy, I don't know the word for it, but the whole thing with Nexium is small potatoes can, compared to what I went through in my childhood and in my upbringing. Oh my goodness. I have no Holy idea what that means. Thank you. Thank you for standing up and being counted. Her book is called The Untouchable Jessica Jones. The, the Untouchable. Untouchable. <laughs> Why is she untouchable when there's so much evidence about who the artists really are that threw the stain all over the leather that did not want stain on it. I'm just curious. Um, I also saw a show reference on television, one of those docudramas, I think you call them, in Humanville, um, that is not Grey's Anatomy, because Grey's Anatomy is more gross anatomy, which is more like... Uh, pal um, like, uh, it's pathology and moratorium, crematorium, like mortuary science in gross anatomy, but you have moving creatures on this gross anat uh, on Grey's anatomy show, um, but indicative of something that is about to die or already died. Um, but then you have this other thing called a Chicago medical something, Linda says, which has, like, I don't know, I didn't approve of it to be tied to my Chicago PD and my Chicago fire. I don't know how Chicago med got started. I think they needed some sidewinder, like sidestep, to have two feet to steady themselves on at Special Forces, because today Linda put on one episode, and of course it references Special Forces, and it's medical design, like, procedures, like, rooting them to the finish line with, like, if you, whoever gets to the whatever and whatever whatever gets two tickets to some special show, and I'm like, Jesus Christ, what the hell are you doing at running the world into the ground? Um, so that was referenced on one of the shows today. Um, by the way, there is a crossover, because the chick that was on, the Gail Color, the Gail King Color chick that was on SVU as some really important, um, respected, I don't know what her job was there, it was something really important and respected in the SVU whatever mix-up or lineup. She is now in this... Chicago medical, now she's like hospital administration of some sort, and I'm like, oh, Jesus Christ, what are you all doing? Um, and then there's some doctors that walk around, and they're like all trying to disrobe and touch everybody, all different colors and assortments, as if that's acceptable, and everybody's just going to go along with it. <laughs> nope. Um, so that happened. Um, and that's a reference on television. Um, I'm star one nine seven eight star eight three seven eight Nicole Cataruza. It's October seventh, twenty twenty one, and I'm in Bayside Station, Bayside, New York one one three six one. And lastly, the other thing is there's a song Sam Hunt sings. I just danced myself while danced to myself and was singing to myself as if nobody was watching.
I know better. I know there's fly on the wall programming, but whatever. So I'm sitting there making myself a cup of coffee and I'm listening to his uh, serenade, shall we call it. And he says, I got a bottle of whiskey, but I got no proof. So I, of course, changed the lyrics and the limerick. And I'm like, I got 100 proof and 150 proof. What's needed? I mean, honestly... Where are we going with this? I just need Special Task Force Mark. The one that belongs, that I belong to. Um, I know at some point, right after Alexander was born, there was some phone call, but it's kind of weird when you're so out of touch with the person that you were built for, designed for, and born for, and he doesn't have access to speaking to you as though he is your owner and he is your protector and he still wants you after some really embarrassing shit happened to you that you were like, I don't know, does he still even want, you know? I mean, like, there's some humanness in that conversation that never seems to actually get talked about because it's like, well, she lives like one of the animal humans that we see on TV. So I... It gets confusing when one knows more and ha it works at slim pickings and I'm at like the bottom of the barrel being harmed and he's whatever and whatever, whatever, trying to get the abstract back or fixed. And then there's a phone call between a whole bunch of slim pickings, whatever, and representatives and the little lady is a little confused Plus, she's being harmed. And on abstract, the way that it was before it was modified, because they never actually got the modifications, was that um, there was some harmful events that are, were about to transpire, but were never thwarted. That's a problem. So, um, I have a conversation with what I call Special Task Force Mark, I know he works at abstract artwork and recovery of stolen and missing artwork. I'm the girl in the pearl earring. I'm part of the Frick collection. I told Nucci this morning as we were walking, I held an umbrella over his head because the sunlight today is just too much. I said, they make reference in vampirical about our vampirical position on vampire shows in this humanness. They know we're here. He says, yeah, but that sounds like a freak, Mom. I don't want to be a freak. And I'm like, well, it's actually a frick, my love. And that's we're hanging in the Hague. Our genetic acknowledgement is hanging in a, in a place in another country called the Hague. It's a beautiful area, so I've heard. An acknowledgement, so I've heard. Uh, but again, here we are in New York. I don't really get out there but whatever so he just was like yeah all right so I put the umbrella away and I kissed him goodbye and he went off to school oh, that's my morning star 1978 star 8378 Nicole Caterusa um yeah see like that language doesn't bother me like right I, I even said that back in like timeless space when I said we were like on earth or like we're in Valhalla or like we're in Heaven, we're out of harm's way for the moment because I know he's sitting next to me. And then there was like a pairing with a JMG, which was a confusing event for not me. Um, we were happily ever in the moment. I was age 36 to 37. It's referenced on special equipment. Um, I'm now 43 and went through the entire harmful event of world of hurt within the orc debris field of the great grape being broken into a rape in more horrific ways than we're already on whatever. Um, and so um, when we were there, I made it very clear I am not one of your modern women on The View or the TV. Like, you say you own me. Great. I know who you are already. I was already built for you. I want to go back to that. I mean, I'm ready for going into a relationship that looks like, like, leave it to Beaver. I did not ever want to live as some, like, street 
Tomcat or Alley Cat or whatever that was abused and forgotten about completely. That was never my modus operandi. I wanted, like, taken care of and elsewhere. You feed me, you keep me clean, you keep me safe, and I'm yours? Yeah, great, I will take that over any of the rest of this humanness in 20th century that they've even ever said might be on the docket. Mm, I don't want humanness, no thank you. Star 1978, Star 8378. Um, and for that matter, Jason Peter, Romer 1976, and Anthony Tiafrio 1975, when you give me a rape, because you remove G, who owns me, and you give me the great rapist, and then you give me after that a tale to make me, like, to ruin my reputation enough that it's hard in, like, the Muslim and Islam world, but, like, Christianity and Jew, maybe, like, and then find out that it's all wrong, what you originally thought in representatives of characters, placement, and abstract, and brainwashing, and so on and so forth. Don't think I don't have you on document and file. I know there's a reason why I'm being hurt so bad.